What's up all you dad hustlers out there? This is Will Crown back again for episode number 23 of the Dad Hustle Show. Exciting show today. We're going to talk about how to change the narrative story in our lives. Might be asking yourself, what the heck are you talking about the narrative, Will? I don't really understand. Let me break it down to you like this. Every single one of us has a narrative or a storyline that we live our lives by, whether we realize it or not. Subconsciously, however that story is written in your mind is exactly what you're gonna play out through life. That story determines the type of parent you are, determines the type of partner you are in your relationship with your loved one, ultimately determines the type of hustler you are and how successful you're gonna be in any endeavor you undertake. Just hear me out for a minute, okay? Our belief in anything is based on what you've heard and what you've seen through your inputs. So our eyes and our ears are constantly receiving information, right? And this has been going on since we were little babies. You are just like your daddy. Oh, that one right there, that's a heartbreaker right there. She's gonna be trouble for you. She just big boned. That one, I gotta watch that one. Yeah, he's a wild child. But whether you realize it or not, you've been hearing stuff in your inputs your whole life. And these things continually affect the type of dad, parent, mom, and hustler that you're going to be. What's your follow through like? Well, check your narrative. They tend to become like self-fulfilling prophecies. You remember the 1993 movie Rudy? It was starring Sean Astin. Rudy Rudiger, the little football player with Notre Dame. Everybody told him constantly his whole life that he was just a Rudiger. He was too small, he'd never be successful, he wouldn't go to college, he definitely wouldn't graduate. Everybody from his family, his parents, his coaches, his teachers, he even had priests telling him that he couldn't make it. Rudy was determined to change his narrative. I love this movie. So I'm gonna show you a quick little clip. Get the popcorn out, roll them. Chasing a stupid dream causes nothing but you and everyone around you heartache. Notre Dame is for rich kids, smart kids, great athletes. It's not for us. You're a Rudiger. Yikes. Now that's a pretty extreme example, but can you imagine being bombarded with that type of information? People telling you that you're not good enough, you're not going to make it. Hey, you're a great kid, but you're not cut out to graduate from college or whatever it is. Like that sounds so ludicrous today. But people still get programming like that all the time. Whatever narrative is in your life, you can now change that. You're not stuck with it. Your story is your story. You're not only the main character, you are the author of that story. I'm reading a book right now entitled Man's Search for Meaning by Dr. Viktor Frankl. And it's really moving me actually. It's written by a psychiatrist who was a Jewish prisoner during World War II. On a march from the camp where he was staying, Auschwitz at the time, to a work site, which was several miles away, his feet were completely swollen with edema and he had very poor circulation. It hurt to take any step, he was obviously starved, suffering like in so many ways. And he said on this track, when he's marching in line with all the other prisoners, all he could think about was how hungry he was. I mean, imagine being completely starved and having to walk for miles to a work site, whether or not he'd lose toes from frostbite, whether or not he'd make it back to camp alive. And then all of a sudden, in the lowest depth of his suffering, he found a way to elevate his thinking and change his narrative. He started imagining as if he was already back from World War II and he was in a classroom and he was teaching the psychological effects to a class of psychiatry students and it just inspired him to move on. And it was amazing because he said that changed his narrative. He no longer was just, oh, I don't know if I can make this, struggling through the day. He now was focused on this is for a purpose. Everything that I'm suffering through is for a reason. I'm going to come back and bring value to other people because of it. So narrative really does affect your life. What's your narrative? Maybe you've been told or told yourself, I'm not a good looking guy. Oh, I'm so tired of being fat. And you're on this workout regimen and diet, but realistically you should switch that narrative to say, I'm working to get in shape. It's crazy to think that little nuances like that make a difference, but they really do. Maybe your family struggled financially growing up, and now internally you've got this narrative that you're always struggling, that it's paycheck to paycheck, month after month. I've been there before, and I've had to work to get out of that. Just yesterday, my wife called me out on the carpet and said that I had a narrative in my life where I always say that 
that I'm low on her priority list compared to the kids. In my mind, that's very true. But is that what I want to be true? If that's not the story that I want to be told, then I need to rewrite it. Narratives come in all shapes and sizes, but the point of this video is that you have the choice and the power to decide what story you tell for yourself. So choose wisely and make it a story that excites you. If you recognize a pattern in your life that you don't like, chase it down to the root of the narrative. Once you know what the narrative is, you can adjust the story to read how you want. If you liked what you heard, subscribe to Throw It In The Drive. My name is Will Crown and I'm here to help you get to the next level in your dad hustle. Keep hustling, dads. You can't stop me! Oh, that's all you got.